Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 62. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for Chapter 7 or the PowerPoints for Chapter 7, click on the link directly below this video and then scroll way down to the Finance Excel class section. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about valuing preferred stock. Oh, yeah, in our last video, we uh, learned about the idea that using future dividend cash flows, we can you take the present value of those and actually for some stocks figure out what the stock value should be. Now in this video we're just going to talk about preferred stock and a couple of videos ago we talked about preferred stock and basically it is a contract that says I am going to pay this dividend. right? Now we can use this model we're going to develop but again stock still has some uh, is not as certain, the future cash flows are not as certain as a debt contract. Because although the preferred stock says, yeah, I'm going to pay you this $5 dividend each year, it still takes a vote by the board of directors to actually um, declare that dividend. So there is some, uh, um, there's, there's less predictability with the cash flows for preferred stock. All right, so we already know uh, about this. Uh, we saw a perpetuity formula back in, I think, chapter 5. And here was our formula, right? We, this PMT is going to be exactly the same uh, each period. And what we said was, since stocks are presumably forever, then that means the time right here would be some number approaching infinity or whatever. And if you actually plug a huge number in here, this thing actually becomes 0 right here. So it's 1 minus 0 divided by the period rate. So this is what we were left back in Chapter 5. Well, for us, in I'll go to my next slide right here. Here's the notation we'll use in this chapter. P0, that means price at time 0, divided by the constant dividend, divided by our uh, period rate or required return discount rate. So let's go over to Excel. Oh, we have a yearly preferred dividend. It is $5.50, and the discount rate is 12. Wow, I like formulas that are this easy. Our dividend divided by our discount rate. Um, this is n equal to 1, so boom, our stock is 45.83. And anytime you're using a stock valuation model, what are you doing? You're trying to predict the price, and if you go out into the market and you think you would pay 45 bucks for it, but it's selling for 40 then it's a deal. You go buy it. If you think it's worth 45 and it's selling for 50, forget it. I'm not going to buy. Uh, quarterly preferred dividend. I'm simply going to take that quarterly preferred dividend, 50 cents, and divide it by, in parentheses, 10% divided by 4, because we have to get our period rate, and ding, ding, ding. So I'm willing to pay 20 bucks for that stock. All right, that's a quick video about preferred stock. Uh, next video, we'll see what happens when we can assume that the dividend will grow at a constant rate. See you next video.